Since 1979, volunteers from the Old Colony Newport Railway have been working hard to preserve a state-owned transportation asset called the Newport Secondary Rail Line. The line runs from the state line at Fall River, Massachusetts, south through Tiverton, Portsmouth, and Middletown to Newport, Rhode Island. We have helped maintain the line, advocated for it, and of course have operated different trains on it for the past 45 years. We do this because we believe there is a future for this line and for rail transportation in general. Just recently, we were surprised and delighted to hear of a petition and survey being done by local university students who are gauging interest for the return of passenger rail to Newport, Rhode Island. Their idea would be to connect Newport to Providence, Rhode Island and Boston, Massachusetts using the rail line for the first time in decades. The Newport line would connect directly with the almost completed MBTA South Coast Rail Line to Fall River, Massachusetts, and would then be able to bring people into Newport and onto Aquinnick Island from there. Currently, the Newport Secondary is in various conditions. The 13 miles of on island rail is in use by the Newport and Narragansett Bay Railroad that provides tourist and dinner train operations. Unfortunately, the final half mile into Newport Station needs to have track work finished before trains return to Newport Station itself. In 2021, the track was removed temporarily for construction, but that track needs to be completed for trains to run again. At the north end of the island, the tracks end at the Sakonet River, where a swing bridge once connected the rail to the National Rail Network. Unfortunately, the bridge was hit by a barge in 1988, taking it out of service, and in 2007, it was removed completely. Based on the MBTA's Gloucester Bridge project, a new movable structure over the Sakonet River would likely cost around $50 million. North of the bridge, the five or so miles of track in Tiverton and the south end of Fall River are in place but out of service. Last used around 1988, the track is now overgrown and needs to be rebuilt before trains use it again. In recent years, there have been proposals to restore freight rail service to Gold Medal Bakery near the state line in Fall River, but that has yet to come to fruition. North of the out-of-service track is Wharf Yard in Fall River that serves the area's industries and is the terminus for all current rail operations. Less than a mile north of it, is the new MBTA Fall River train station that will once again see passenger trains soon. Trains from Newport could connect with the MBTA there, creating a connection to Boston and everywhere in between. I plan to do a more in-depth video on this topic soon, but for now I'll leave you with the m more information from the petition and survey. The petition reads, There are many people living on Aquidneck Island that do not have access to private car travel. The existing bus transportation lines that connect the island's population to Providence and Boston metropolitan areas are not sustainable for regular travel. At present, there are no other public transportation alternatives besides bus travel and there is an opportunity for Rhode Island to utilize the existing rail infrastructure on Aquidneck Island to resolve this accessibility issue. Rhode Island, as the smallest state in the country, has the ability to be highly interconnected, and yet its infrastructure is far behind other cities in the Northeast. The Rhode Island State Legislature recently signed the Act on Climate Agreement for Carbon Neutrality by the year 2050 and must start rethinking interstate travel. Rail travel has the ability to be built in electric technology and could be a large solution to the gas-powered bus systems already in place. Now, these are fantastic reasons to restore rail service, and I hope you agree with them. If you do, please take the time to fill out the survey and petition to share your opinion. The links to these are available in the video description. Stay tuned for more videos on this topic and for ways to help make it a reality in the future.